What is a biomiller? Biomillers are very simple systems consisting of water and wood chips or other organic material. The material is contained by a wire fence. Water pipe is coiled within the large pile of organic matter. A circulation pump then withdraws the energy created from the composting process. As you may or may not know, during the composting process, bacteria convert organic matter into heat, carbon dioxide, and ammonium. A biomiller's function is to extract the heat produced from this process. During this chemical reaction, the composting material's temperature will stabilize around 50 degrees Celsius, making biomillers one of the most economic solutions to generate clean heating energy. Biomillers can be linked into any type of underfloor heating system. Underfloor heating systems are very common. They heat people's houses, shops, and many other large structures such as schools, colleges, universities, grocery stores, convenience stores, restaurants, factories, and other industrial buildings. Any building using underfloor heating systems can be equipped with a biomiller to save them money on heating and reduce their dependency on fossil fuels. Let's consider for a moment the drawbacks of biomillers. Biomillers produce carbon dioxide and ammonia. Carbon dioxide is a greenhouse gas that is causing global warming. So do we really want to implement systems that create more carbon dioxide? Are they really creating more? We have to consider the abundance of organic waste materials we're producing every day. These materials are free, except for the cost of transportation, and would otherwise be composting naturally, releasing carbon dioxide and wasting their heating potential. Biomillers capitalize on this natural process. The ammonium is broken down by bacteria into nitrogen compounds useful for improving soil quality. A biomiller is, after all, a large pile of compost, and when the chemical reaction is finished, we are left with a gigantic pile of soil building material. The compost can then be sold, traded, or given away to local farmers and gardeners. Bringing biomealers into a community will increase its food security and create bonds and opportunities that would otherwise not be present. Biomealers have a limited lifespan, around 12 to 18 months, meaning that each year the old one will have to be taken down and a new one constructed in its place. It's a lot of work, taking a team of 3 to 8 people and a machine most of the day to install one. Currently, most biomealer construction takes advantage of workshop structures, meaning that people are paying to work and learn how to build them. Surely this will shift as demand for them increases. Moving into a world where job loss is becoming more common, food security is a major issue, and climate change our greatest threat, understanding all of our options is vital. Biomealers may not work everywhere or in every instance, but they are a very powerful tool to be used in our transition towards a more sensible civilization. For more information on biomealers, please visit the links provided in the video description.